After many years of waiting, we finally get the sequel to the first Meg movie with Meg to the Trench. I was able to check it out over the weekend, so let's talk about it. So really the same way it was with the first Meg movie where I just wanted to see a movie that was kind of action-packed, maybe some dumb fun thrown in there. Jason Statham taking on a giant shark. That's what I expected from the first Meg movie. That's what I got. So I kind of expected the same from this movie. And I got to say, for the most part, I did get that in some parts of the movie. Going into this movie, I did not have like high expectations for like a great story or anything like that. Like I said, I go to this movie just expecting some dumb, fun action stuff. Jason Statham taking on a giant shark. And I did get that in some parts of the movie. But they were trying to do a, something a little different with this movie, I think. Like, I don't know how close these are to adapting to the actual books they're adapted from. But with this movie, they did some other different stuff with this movie compared to like the first movie. Really, this movie had like three different acts, of course. But it seemed like three di the each act was something different. The first act, you basically had them trying to tame a Megalodon. Same they had it from young years, from like basically when it was a pup and they've been training it all this time. And it's been held in captivity and they've been trying to just train it. The second, second act is basically them going down into the trench, down into the deep ocean. And honestly, that part was a little interesting and things they were able to do with that second act. And it kind of was suspenseful at times also. Then the third act comes to where we get the big ridiculous battles. Where you basically have the team trying to take on these sharks. Jason Statham riding on a jet ski. Y'all saw it in the trailer. Riding on a jet ski with these explosive harpoons trying to basically kill the giant sharks. That's where I had the most fun with this movie and most entertainment with this movie where it was just dumb. Like the logic did not make sense with that act and how with how they were trying to do it. You know, Jason Statham on jet ski, like trying to take on a shark with explosive harpoons. Like where's the logic in that? But logic thrown out the window. It was still fun and entertaining to watch. But really while watching this movie, it almost felt like the Megalodons were actually kind of just in the background. They were kind of shoving the background a little bit. Not through the whole movie, but like just some parts here and there it felt like they were just background and really with this movie they tried to throw a little espionage in there also there was like a character that came back from jason statham's character's past to take him on there was also kind of an interesting <laughs> inside joke i don't know if y'all able to catch it i haven't heard anybody really talk about it but like it was sort of an inside joke to where there's a character ha that just has the dumbest luck when it comes to surviving and it was kind of like a running gag throughout the whole movie i don't know if people really noticed it but it was like a running gag to where like he's putting these situations to where literally he should have died every single time. And I'm not going to spoil how it ends, but like he should have died every single time. But he just had the dumbest luck of surviving. And it was just an interesting, funny gag, running joke throughout the whole movie. There was a fun battle going on in the third act between the Megalodons and Jason Statham on a jet ski, like I said before. But also, too, you throw in a giant squid. And it's not really a spoiler because the squid was shown in the trailers. Throwing the giant squid into the mix. And honestly, it's just dumb, fun entertainment. So like I said, really, I didn't going into this movie, I knew not to set my expectations high. I knew that you shouldn't expect a great story or anything really coming out of this movie. So if it's anything like the first movie, I was not expecting that. Like I said, just wanted my expectations were just give me some dumb, fun action. Give me Jason Statham going up against a giant shark. And for most of the movie, they did give me that. And I was thoroughly entertained and I had fun watching this movie. So yeah, if you are considering checking this movie out, like I said, don't set your expectations high don't go in trying to get a good story out of this just go in for the dumb fun action if you're like interested in just watching these shark movies and just like me i think i like watching shark movies they're sort of the guilty pleasure movies that i watch so i got what i wanted out of this movie for the most part with all the dumb fun action going on in this movie so if you just want a movie that you can just turn your brain off to have some fun entertainment maybe some little action thrown in here in there then I recommend checking this movie out. I have fun watching it and it's definitely going to be a new favorite that I'm just going to be probably checking out when it comes to those guilty pleasure type shark movies.